there are only three public school dual language immersion programs in San Luis Obispo County, and the newest one is at Baywood Elementary in Los Osos. As part of our Hispanic Heritage Month coverage, I'll take you inside a first grade classroom so you can see how students are learning both English and Spanish. Junio, Julio, Agosto, Tiembre, Octubre, son los cinco meses. Muy bien. Hernán Hernández is teaching the months of the year to his first graders. Have them love the language first, right? So we do a lot of like dancing and singing. Los días de la semana son siete. Hernández graduated from schools within the San Luis Coastal Unified School District and is now giving back. It's always been my dream to teach dual immersion. <laughs> Baywood Elementary is the second school within the district to adopt a dual language immersion program. Pacheco is a lottery system and we're at capacity within that program and have been for quite a while. So in 2020, Baywood opened up to serve our coastal population. Baywood Elementary is on its third year of a 90-10 dual language immersion model. Our TK and kindergarten programs, 90% of their day is in Spanish and 10% of their day is in English. <laughs> Classrooms are a diverse mix of Spanish learners and native Spanish speakers like Shirlene Morales. I get to teach my friends um, more in Spanish because almost like my whole class is like, um, they only talk like English. The program is giving an academic foundation to students like Celia Gomez who are bicultural. They only speak to me in Spanish and and that's worked out quite quite great for us. Gomez says this has allowed him to improve his own Spanish and view the language in a positive light. It was a stigma to have to speak it, especially to translate at the hospital or all these administrative things when my parents didn't know the language. And, and you carry that with you. Celia Gomez is embracing her Mexican-American heritage. La Muñeca. That's one of my first favorite songs. What does a muñeca mean? Um, it means the doll. Talk about that cultural aspect to your program. Yeah, so we follow the guiding principles for dual language instruction. We really want to make sure that our students are uh, receiving an education where they're culturally competent and they're achieving grade level in both Spanish and English. Hispanic Heritage Month is a good example to push that cultural awareness. We're going to be doing a lot of different songs like Selena and Celia Cruz and talking about Cesar Chavez. And the district is looking to further develop its dual immersion framework. So we have some programs going at Laguna Middle Middle school that are content classes that are delivered in Spanish to our students and we want to expand that to Los Osos Middle School as well and up into the high school. Despite a tough childhood, hey, bailando, por favor. Bailando, bailando. Bailando. Hernandez hopes to inspire his students. My family, my dad and mom thank them like every day because they work three jobs and put us through school and they always said you can be whoever you want to be. Baywood Elementary is planning to expand the program in the next two years to include fourth and fifth grades. In early October, San Luis Coastal will be presenting its dual language immersion framework to the board.